Hello and welcome. My name is Nila. So this is the second episode of our new campaign of uh, Factorio done right. Well, we uh, we've built this nice little area, and the part that we need, really need to work on is actually building smelting arrays this time. It's really important, and in order to do that, there are a lot of things that I must have. I will also show one of my pet peeves, you can say. Let's check the content. Check the content. That's not as good as it could be. I'm just gonna get a lot of things here because the part there are two things I cannot or I must handcraft. And that's power poles and inserters. And I need a lot of inserters now, but 44, 48, and that's not even gonna cut it. As we start building this. Yeah, I did bring some coal with me up here. Get another. Yep. Might as well fill everything up. Great, so now we have a lot of copper. That's very nice. And I can start building a power port as well. Might need a few more. Optics is now coming along very nicely. There we have the optics. And I think the next part is actually steel. Not because I want to craft steel right now, but because steel will enable me to build uh, a couple of steel axes. And that's very nice. This one is almost out. So get some more. Get some more uh, iron here because you can see that iron is critical. Put that in here. You, oh, you need iron for sure. And this is now the reason why I built eight because I can easily build more. But I don't think that's the right one. Uh, this one is good for now. Getting more iron as always. More iron. Good. Now it's time to head over here to start building where I want it. So what about we build up here? Let's take you out. The part about this is that I want to build smelting columns. And that's like standardized smelting. And I want to make sure that there's a coal deposit nearby that I can drag in and they can feed. But I also want to build it first. I think I'll start it right at the edge of the so basically, now I can also start putting things in the right box, the right areas here. So I lock them down with the middle mouse button, and they are now locked in place. So let's just uh, say here. This is just a ghost image, and I'm sorry that's very dark. This is where the coal comes in. It comes from this facility up here, goes in here. And this is where I use these as uh, as an indicator. That's actually not a good idea what I'm doing here, is it? This reason why it's not a good idea is because I actually need some space to walk on as well. And I think I rather want... I mean, this is the part that I spend a lot of time on. Not everyone does, but I do. Because I think it's important to plan out. Because once you lay down the tracks, there is just no going back. I should start planning this. I want a running path here. That's not much. And now I can't pick it up. Ugh. Okay, and on the side of this, I don't want to cross it too many times. I will have the coal coming in here. And then I will look in my blueprint book because I have a blueprint that works for exactly this under smelting. And it's basic smelting. So I'm going to put this down and then we can have a look at what the purpose of it is. There. So once I put this down, this is... I think I'll actually build this one. I can't. Oh, I'm forgetting something. I can build some of it. I'll just build the outline so we can better see what's actually here. Here we go with furnaces as well. So this. This is a smelter column. What happens is that on this one we get coal in, for example, like this. And on the other one, we get this uh, the iron in. So the iron must come in here. And I always dive below. So that the iron that comes in. On one end, it goes underneath, 
goes here and gets in. And that goes in on with the splitter on the inside and the co goes on the outside. Hence, I need fewer inserters here because the same inserter picks up both coal and iron. That's about as compact as you can build it. And then I'll build many more of these because I want I want to plan out the base. So basically saying I want four of these columns for iron. And then I think I want a running path at this point, which I cannot build because I accidentally made a mistake. Now I'm going to make a, a virtual walk, walking path here. I need, I need just a teeny bit because now I can do this. Now I'll build a virtual running path because I want a running path down here. Otherwise I will not be able to drive. And then I will again build on the other side. Again, I built two distance one. This is for copper two. a great way of planning out the base in my opinion at least there and i think it's important to do very early if you intend to build a big base so that's four up here for iron four down here for copper and then we can discuss what we should have sort of further down i would say we need stone and we need steel so i could take one with stone and then two with steel and I'm just going to mark these in a bit silly way because so that I know myself that this is for steel. I can come back and clean them up later. Something along these lines and I'll fix that later. Okay, so let's also again use the map view of saying here, I'll mark it as steel. Another one, press below, steel. Going up exactly where I'm standing now. This one will be stone bricks. I like these kind of things where it's actually um, here, copper. This, in my opinion, is part of good planning. Here, more copper. More copper. Still not building anything. Optimally, I think I would actually have to be, or should be building, uh, should be handcrafting while I'm doing this. But I don't have that option right now. I don't have materials and I don't want to run too much back and forth. So now it is completely obvious when looking at the map, what is going where. And the top one, the one that we are actually actively building. Yeah, now look at the map. These are all the things I need to build up front. Great thing about this, these two steel down here is that I can actually tap these two, bring it in and build the steel. Not something I'm going to do right now, but it's, now I know that I can prepare for it. Let's get back and cap some more materials so we can continue building our smelting arrays. You can see, not surprising, everything has run out in the meantime. Get the iron. The iron, get some coal in there. I think these are, st are stuck, so that's fully loaded. Steel processing is almost done. I'll take everything I can. What about on in terms of this? That's doing fine. Grab all of the furnaces. I'll grab all of the stone bricks. And I'll grab even more of this. And let's see. Yeah, stone. What? More iron. I guess I need to run up here for more iron. Uh, or what? Copper should bring some iron with me. Or coal with me, sorry. There we go. That's steel. Let's build some turrets because you never know. It's nice to do. And while we're at it, shouldn't I build a gun? I cannot build a gun. All the way up to this copper. This needs to go closer, a lot closer, this copper. And it's really dark. Should we build some lights? No, we should not build some lights because we can't.
all the copper we can get and go back to the teeny tiny little base putting it into where we need it and then starting and crafting some more more stuff cap all of these because why not here half of it in there get some more iron get more iron you can see the iron is the bottleneck here keep working on oh do we need to un undo a lot of these because i need lots of underground belts as well underground belts are quite expensive and so are the splitters that should be enough for two columns and now we can start building it i think i have what i what i need for this blueprint and now we get the underground belts lock it in here and split us lock it in there the split us goes there and there and undergrounds here here yes we're using maybe a bit more undergrounds than strictly necessary but i think it's oops and that was more tech at this point we can also see that tech is outpacing us quite rapidly and they're gonna be out of green of red sides red circuits to build there's also this way i think this is the easiest way of, of building of putting down four it's a bit of a menial task but it needs to be done and there are no robots so no can do no, there is no easy way. These blueprints actually have room for uh, for lights, and I think that's great because I should be building lights because otherwise it'll be too dark for anyone to see. Not a lot of light, but it's it's just a bit. Of course, everything is just unpowered now. But you can see if we build one iron, then I think we should build two iron. I can build I can build that. And this, this one, continue. Not, not too far though. Underground, and underground the other way. And the last underground in here. But now I'll build two iron columns up front. That might not be strictly necessary to build two up front. I should probably just build one and hook that up. But once you get going, you never want to stop. Also because this is actually... We're gonna need it. So no doubt about whether needing it. And I might as well build this. Of course, we also need copper quite, quite urgently. But once we have this, it'll be, it'll be quite a bit better base. Because then we start actually mass producing. It's exactly match. And then I put power poles. Stand on the belt because that's really impractical. Also in terms of power poles, this is also a very efficient setup. That one's missing. So we now have this part. We just need power and resources. <laughs> Two quite essential things. And this one, yeah, I kind of have to do it this way. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm hitting. Oh, and the power, of course, has died because I forgot that I need to fuel it. But that's okay. It's, it doesn't matter much. It doesn't matter a bit. A bit annoying. <laughs> Perfectly honest. This one is still working. Might as well take those so we can fill it up with more. Put some iron in here. Point some coal, of course, into the fueling here.
But let's see. Where do we best get the coal from? I can get this coal, drag it up here. Might actually be the best option because this one should be... Eh, uh, you know what? Uh, it's going to be different, isn't it? This one is probably more appropriate to bring this way. Well, this one... Oh, now I've decided. This one goes here. This one must then go up. And now I need to start building my... Electric miners, that's 10 electro miners. It should keep us covered for a bit. One, two. And let's start with the copper, even though we don't have the copper. No, copper is not necessary. What does it say? It will be the iron that I need to start with. So let's build the iron. We now hooked up the location over there. We need to see where things are not working. We, this is working fine. I'll just always build. Take more of this, always take more of this. Should we just yep. just coal wise, it's always keep them filled, keep them happy. That's still the only thing we have. And over here this one seems to actually work. One. Good. More belts. More. Electronic circuits, and I will now start building the first electric miners. And I want to build them here. This is another important thing, in my opinion. If you want to build the optimal layout, start from the corner and just look at that green area around it. Then you can build it evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get all the way up because that's gonna be expanded, and I need five of those and five of those definitely. And we can then up the power bones. Let's start from the other end, might as well. On, I know it's too dark to see. Gotta put some lights as well. Let's build some more lights. I want to build lights everywhere. I am quite addicted to having lights everywhere. The reason for me building this strange pattern is actually to make sure that... Oh, wow. Make sure that when I draw the lines out here, they actually hit something. Come on, more. More faster. Go, go, go. You can also see that I built these as ghost images, which do not carry electricity very well. There. So this is now hooked up. They are producing. Yes. Awesome. This is the first. I will... Ironically, I will build it up to the top one. I don't really need a problem with that. How does that fit with our... Walking path down the middle it does kind of fit. That's okay. Need to make sure that this walking path is adhered to. We'll build it first a virtual walking path. And you know what? I'll drag it. Drag it this way. I want to make sure that we respect this. Fortunately, it goes straight through. That's okay. And let's let's now drag it upwards. Up, and you always dive below. This is I don't say do this, but I have really good experience with doing it that way. Because once you have the path laid out and you respect the path, then it'll be much easier once you get a car. But if you don't get a car, then that's if you don't use the cars, then it doesn't matter. Why are we not? Oh, it's iron. Uh, okay, well, I think I can get it from this one as soon as it comes along. I wonder if I can drag the power poles from here. That would be nice. I should be mindful that... Let's just see. That would be something like this. There. Does that work? No, it's too close. And I guess I have to do this. 
Hey, stupid dead trees. And we reached the coal deposit. Excellent. And I will just start from the bottom left here. Again, try to line it towards the corners. There. Although it doesn't really do much in this location. And we take the power further down. And here. Maybe not. That sound is not my favorite sound in the game. There, we have... We have coal. And with this coal, we can actually build something. Back it up. And these are full. Very nice. And they will then stop producing... Oops, they will not because of... Lack of power up here. They're actually starting to use quite a bit of power. And that is a good indication of this is not good enough, this power supply. I'll need to get something like this and build more power. I can actually start using these to, to drag it back to the location I wanted in. Let's see. This is a clear space. And what I also need is, I might actually want burn inserters there. There's a, an argument for burn inserters and an argument for using... So the po point is that when this runs out, or if this runs out, then the electricity will not pick up itself, while the burn inserters will pick up. That's a really good point. Uh, let's see, how is this aligned towards the coal? I need to get around a bit more. Maybe like this. I hope this is good enough. Go run on the belt, especially when it's running the wrong way. And let's go down to the base and pick up everything we have. More of these, these, and iron. They will be needed for, for the miners for now. Ooh, that one. We are going to... See, now we're really starting to run out of things built. One, two. That's also quite a loss. And the coal. Let's head up and... Oh, already dead. Already dead. It's really using a lot of power at this point. Unfortunate. But there is now this specific option of taking... I'll just put these on the belt right now. So once they head up there, they will actually automatically be inserted because I chose to use burner inserters. There, so now it's put 50 up there. Now we can clear out this forest to put some electric mining drills down and then we won't have this problem anymore. At least for the time being. And again, I need to apologize for this being so dark. I can't see a damn thing, so I have trouble seeing if you can see anything here. But what we are doing is building. Maybe here. Here. That will be enough for now. And then put some power poles in at a reasonable location. There. They are now dead. And again, I need... Uh, no, I need. This is. Uh, I know this is supposed to be done efficiently, but I actually used more power. I built too efficiently, I guess, because I kind of run out of power way too fast. Because I've built too many inserts. Oh, it's just. It's because they're just not there yet. So let's uh, have a look at this, so you get a sense of what it is actually doing. Pick it up very, very slowly. Very slowly. There, and now it starts working, but it's just burning through it. Let's look at the power. And that's kind of obvious that I need to build more steam engines. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, two, three. Now I'll scale it up decently. And then we need one, two, three, four, five, six. And that should will be sort of the last thing we built here is Hmm. Let me just see. I wanted to build this one and that one offshore pump. They might as well get each of their their own pumps. That's why not. Why not indeed? Yes. That one, and then put some inserters or some. I oh, don't even have enough power poles. And I also need a few of these. And all right, so we need to scale up power. This is this is quite understandable and acceptable here. You can see the power is running quite smoothly. Oh, now it is. And I need to wait for these things to craft and then we'll build up. So once we have this, we will have a, we are back in action with the, with the power. And what is the next? The next, I have the inserters here. Last two down here, and they are of course not working because there's no input. All the things we build are exactly tuned towards what we need. There. Now let's tune the first one. And I can now build the power poles needed. Those are the power poles. Now everything is hooked up for power. And the next one I need to build is. Make sure that there's water. There, we have water. Good, and now we have power completely under control. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up here. So what we should be looking at is actually the smelting column because that's the main task that we have been building. You can see that it's not quite enough, but that's fine. All of these are now full. If you just look at them, 51, that's a lot of iron. So now iron will not be a problem anymore in terms of building. So we're gonna start utilizing that and uh, expanding Expand these smelting columns also to include copper as well. So thank you very much for joining and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.